Section 6.8, joint variation and combined variation. When a variable varies directly with more than one variable, we say that there is a joint variation. And an example of that might be the formula for the area of a triangle with the base and the height. And in words, that would mean the area varies jointly with the base and the height. We know, or perhaps remind ourselves, that the formula for the area of a triangle is A is equal to 1 half base times height. And this is where we have the joint variation. The area has a joint variation between the base and the height, and the silent factor here needed to give us the correct value for the area of a triangle is the one half. We can think of that as our constant of variation. Joint variation is one form of combined variation. In general, when a variable varies directly and or inversely at the same time with more than one other variable. This is called a combined variation. And let's take a look at the supersize me combined variation problem. If y varies jointly as x and z and inversely as w, and y is 60 when x is 3, z is 4, and w is 2, Find y when x is 2, z is 9, and w is 4. A lot of information here, a lot of variables, uh, has a Campbell's soup feel to it, but if we follow the same procedure for just pairs, when we have direct or inverse, we should be able to work our way through this. And the first thing we want to do is translate this relationship. It's telling us that y varies jointly as x and z. There's that silent constant of variation or proportionality as x and z. This is similar to the example that I gave for area of a triangle is equal to something that constant times base times height, only we're leaving it generically with the variables here, y, x, and z, but then it goes on. And inversely, any time you hear the word inversely, what follows it goes in the denominator. And it further tells us an inversely as w. So we have our relationship for this combined variation. Next, it gives us one set of values. They're telling us that y is 60 when x is 3, z is 4, y is 2. That's giving us four of the five variables. It'll allow us to solve for k. And then they're asking us to find y when we have the other three variables. So using the complete set of variables, we'll replace y with 60, k is our unknown, x is 3, z is 4, z is 2. Simplifying this, we will end up with 2 cancels out a 2 in our 4 and leaves us with a 6. Dividing both sides by 6 leaves us with a constant here, constant of variation equal to 10. That allows us to replace k and a more complete combined variation formula of y is equal to 10 times x z over w. That allows us now to go to the final step to solve for the variable that we're looking for. Find y when x is 2, z is 9, w is 4. So y will be equal to 10 times x, which is 2, z, which is 9, and w, which is 4. Doing the multiplication and division results in a value and a solution for y of 45.